Hi guys, it's Rosie. So today I'm getting a keratin treatment done on my hair. I wanted to show you my hair before, immediately after, and then after I wash it. I'm gonna get the Global Keratin brand done. So I wanted to show you my hair before. I washed my hair yesterday. I put a hat on, which is the only reason I don't have a complete layer of frizz up here, even though it is sticking out all funny. So my hair, it just, it's dry. It grows in very dry. When I was young, my hair was smooth and shiny and pretty waves, and now my hair just grows in really coarse. It's not damaged. If you guys saw my hair cutting video, I cut off a lot of hair. I cut off all of my previously dyed damaged hair, and this is just my natural color, natural hair. I don't use heat on it. I treat it very well. I put a lot of treatments in it. I have tried not using shampoo, co-washing, nothing makes my hair good. I've tried baby shampoo. It's just it's just how my hair is. I genuinely feel like my hair needs a keratin treatment to be presentable. I just want to be able to wash my hair, let it dry, and leave the house without like having a huge frizz ball on my head. Normally I wash my hair at night and I put it into a bun to contain it while it dries because if I don't it just frizzes out completely. So I will show you guys what it looks like in a few hours once I'm done with my appointment. I'll see you then. Hi guys, I just wanted to insert a quick clip. This is my hair immediately after getting the keratin treatment. So as you can see, it's straight, um, of course, because it was blow dried and straightened. The process was super easy of getting this keratin treatment, unlike others where you have to like be super precise with the blow drying and straightening it like a certain amount of times over the sections of hair. This one you just kind of um, put it in, leave it on for, I think it was on for like maybe 30 minutes and then she rinsed it out. I don't think she shampooed it, I think she just rinsed it out. And then she blow dried my hair and just straightened it with the flat iron. And yeah, it's it's straight. I don't particularly like myself with straight hair. I know when my hair is wavy, it definitely gives the appearance of it looking thicker, which is nice. With this keratin treatment, you actually don't have to leave it in or like not touch your hair. I know most keratin treatments, you can't even like put your hair behind your ear. This one you can. I could even shampoo my hair right now if I wanted to. Some people like to leave it in just to keep the treatment in for a bit longer. It might make the results a little bit better. So I'm gonna just probably wash my hair tomorrow night rather than tonight. So I will keep you guys updated. I'll show you what it looks like when I I wash it and just air dry it and uh, fingers crossed. Hi guys, so I just washed my hair for the first time since getting my keratin treatment, which I had gotten done yesterday. So I did let it sit on for a day, which like I said before, I could have rinsed it off sooner, but I just wanted to get the maximum result if leaving it on will help at all. So I just shampooed and conditioned my hair. I'm not going to put anything on it because I want to see the true results of the keratin treatment. I want you guys to see the true results. I wanted to share real quick the type of shampoo and conditioner that I did use because I did look up both of these things to make sure they are keratin treatment safe. So for shampoo, I use the It's a 10 Miracle Shampoo plus keratin and it is sulfate free and it's also sodium chloride free, which are two things that you don't want to have in your shampoo after getting a keratin treatment because it does break down the keratin in your hair quicker and it will wear out faster. For conditioner, you don't have to be quite as careful. I don't think conditioners typically have sulfates in them or sodium chloride in them. Neutrogena Triple Moisture Daily Deep Conditioner. This one was about $7 from CVS, not bad at all. The It's a 10 was about $25, which is definitely more than I normally spend on shampoo. I think it will last a long time, which will make it worth the $25, especially if it's keratin treatment safe. So I'll let you guys know what my hair looks like when it's dry. Hi guys, so I wanted to come on here at a better angle and show you what my hair looks like after the keratin treatment. I had washed it a few hours ago, let it air dry totally down, which is something that I could never do before getting this keratin treatment. Normally if I was to just wash my hair and let it dry down, it would be totally totally puffed out like the waves would not have any definition so it's pretty amazing that i was able to just shower shampoo condition my hair not put anything in it and just let it air dry and this is what it looks like and i think it actually looks really really good at first i was getting a little worried because it's not perfect so as it was drying i could see a little bit of frizz here it looks a little dry still but i don't think there's a treatment that would ever make my hair totally perfect unless you get one of those japanese hair straightenings done which is really damaging for your hair so i'd much rather be getting a treatment that's actually healthy for the hair and going to improve the quality of my hair so as you can see it doesn't look as dry as it did 
in my first clip of this video, especially here, it would stick out because it was so dry and kind of puff out and look pretty Velcro-y. So now my hair is just pretty smooth. It still feels a little dry. Normally I would have a total layer of frizz consuming the top of my head and basically the whole top layer of my hair. So I would say I would recommend this treatment. It is really a luxury to be able to just wash my hair and let it dry and have it look like this. The thing that I love about this specific keratin treatment is it's formaldehyde free. So when I was getting it applied, it wasn't strong. The fumes were not like consuming me. It was such a quick and easy process. It should hopefully last four to six months, but the stylist did say that it's better to come back before it totally wears off. So you're kind of building up the keratin in your hair rather than putting the keratin in your hair and just letting it totally wear out and starting from scratch. So let me know if you guys have any questions at all. I'd be happy to answer and I'll see you in my next video.